Hello and welcome to Switzerland. We're here at the Geneva Motor Show and we're with Ferrari to look at one of their newest models with Apple's new CarPlay technology. It was only announced yesterday and we previously knew it as iOS in the car. But we're going to go inside now and find out exactly what Apple's been working on in that year and to see exactly what we can expect when we see the new models later on this year. So here we are in the Ferrari FF and we have Emily here from Apple who's going to take us through the new CarPlay infotainment system. Yeah, so we're starting here in the Ferrari UI and if I touch this Apple CarPlay button I can get into the Apple CarPlay experience which is a great way to interact with your phone while you're in the car. And we're showing here all of the apps that we think are most likely to use while you're in the car. Um, the first one here is phone. Let me show you how we use phone. With whom would you like to speak? Call John Appleseed. Calling John Appleseed. Now, of course, all of these things I can also do from a dedicated Siri button on the steering wheel. Um, but I'm showing you the user interface now since we're talking about Apple CarPlay. But lots of ways to make a phone call. There's a, a Siri, a way to get to Siri from behind the steering wheel. And here I'll end this call. And um, you notice that Siri asked me who I wanted to call as soon as I launched that phone app. Um, but you could also go in through favorites, recents, uh, contacts. You can jump to other contacts um, by pulling up, you know, pulling up a, a menu there. Um, and that's, I think, exactly the kind of phone app that someone who owns an iPhone would expect. Let's go into music. And he, this is iTunes Radio, so we're really lo uh, looking to find audio experiences that you can quickly choose something to listen to and then get right back to driving. And, and iTunes Radio is a, is a great way to to undo that. So let's look at the featured stations. We can look at Pure Pop. So, you know, listen to any of, of your favorite radio stations from iTunes Radio. Um, we could also go in and look at, for example, playlists or artists. Of course, any of those artists um, that are on your phone will show up here. It's all the content from your phone. We can listen to a playlist here. Let's choose, uh, choose a song to listen to there. Um, and all of the same controls that you would expect simplified and made more accessible uh, in the car, shown on the native screen in the car, which I think is, is really critical to being, uh, to being able to use the screen comfortably. All right, now let's look, at, um, let's look at maps. And another way to get to maps, you know, even if I'm in, let's go back to music, even if I'm there, is hitting this Navi button. That will take me to the maps application um, in Apple CarPlay. And so here we have a map. We're at this Pal Expo. Let's choose somewhere to go. If I look in destinations, I see a bunch of recent destinations, but I can also um, choose destinations that were sent to me by people in my contacts uh, over email or text message or destinations that are in my calendar. So those will all be populated here. Um, it's a great way to have quick access to a destination without actually having to go back and refine that address. Um, you can just ask for directions to your friend's house, for example, via Siri or this search button, or I'm gonna show you, because none of my friends live super close to here, I'll show you another way to do that. Where would you like to go? Find a hotel. I found 12 places pretty close to you. So you can look at hotels this way. Um, for example, these are, this is the, the uh, results that came back. Let's go to the Intercontinental. Um, you can go through the list of results through using these arrows. And then we can start here a route if I'd like to Starting route two, Intercontinental Geneva. Head northwest on route from And we have a really Hero. beautiful turn right uh, maps application. With turn right on pretty route gorgeous turn-by-turn um, -turn directions. Keep right on route from Hero toward All with end. American English, um, in American English, so in <laughs> the French street names. Um, so there we go with, um, with the maps application um, and how we choose a destination. Let's go back um, and check out messages. So messages again asks you who you want to send a message to. To whom shall I send this? Scott. Okay, what do you want to say to Scott Miller? Let's get lunch soon. Your message to Scott Miller says, let's get lunch soon. Ready to send it? Send it. 
Okay. Now I can I'll tell Siri it. to send it, or I can use those those ex kind of accelerator buttons. I chose to use Siri that time. And this is a list of my messages conversations. So um, if I'd want a quick way to send a text message to David Martinez, I can just touch on David's name and be asked, you know, what would you like to say to David Martinez? So you can and you can use your list of list of conversations that way as well. So. It, um, but this is really the extent of the messages interface. Oh, I have something new. You have a message from Scott Miller. I'll set something up. Would you like to reply? No, thank you. That's the last message. The messages interface is very simple because it feels like you know, you're generally sending quick messages, um, you know who you want to send them to. Um, and this list of conversations is, is just a, a little helper there. So the other things we can do, um, let's look at podcasts. So I'd like to look at a list of my own podcasts here. And of course I can use Siri to ask for any of these, but I'll, I'll choose Radio Lab here. I'm the data editor at ProPublica. Pro um, and you have investigative journalism um, podcast specific controls here so you can go back or forward um, by bigger chunks and then um, well actually let's go from here again and I'll use Siri play playlist ESPN I couldn't find ESPN in the music oh sorry I asked for a playlist <laughs> play podcast ESPN That's when Siri doesn't understand me is when I ask for things that don't exist. <laughs> so now it's playing me the ESPN podcast. Um, yeah, same controls, obviously. And you can do that from anywhere in either the Ferrari or Apple user interface. Use Siri and um, decide what you want to do. Uh, let's, go, let's go back and look at uh, one of the third-party apps. I mean, I'm, we're showing here uh, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Stitcher. Let's look at iHeartRadio, for example. So this is an iHeartRadio iHeart Radio interface, and this is all the content from my iHeartRadio account. So I can go back home, um, and we'll go back to my first page of apps, uh, and we'll see um, really that, oh, it, it, also if you wanted to get back to the FF's interface, I can touch that icon, go back to their interface. If I want to go back to, um, well, and I can go back to their, their interfaces here, their Navi, their phone, if I go into CarPlay, once I'm in CarPlay, um, I'll go to Apple's Maps and Apple's phone. Fantastic. So how do third-party apps, they'll come in the future, how are they, are they loaded when they become available on the iPhone? So as the app gets updated to support CarPlay, it will just get updated on your phone and magically show up in your car. Fantastic. So this doesn't rely on any um, Apple updates within the car itself. It relies on your phone as soon as you come in That's from right. the phone. And that works over Bluetooth? So our connection right now is wired, yes. Okay. So this has been Emily from Apple and Matt Bryan from Engadget. Thank you for watching. Hi folks. We're recording video on the LG G Pro 2.